Okay, in this video, I'll show you guys how to use calculus to figure out ridicule approximation for 1.998 to the fourth power. And of course, for this one, we can just write down 1.998 four times and then multiply the out. But I'm going to leave that to you. And I also challenge you to do that without a calculator and leave a comment down below and let us know how long that takes you. Because I actually like to think, so I will show you guys my approach without any calculator. And then we'll just be using calculus along the way. Anyway, check this out. This right here is hard to work out because the input is 1.998. It's an ugly number. <laughs> and the usual problem solving strategy is that we should ask ourselves, can we come up with an easier version of this kind of question and that we know the answer of? And then we think about the connection between them. Well, I like to begin by asking myself with this phrase, opening the question with this phrase, wouldn't it be nice? So I'll look at this, I'll say, wouldn't it be nice if I can just work with two to the fourth power instead? And why is that? Well, because two to the fourth power, we know that's equal to 16. Let me just write that down. You should always put down the things that you know. And in this case, two to the fourth power is equal to 16. And this is a good choice because 1.998 is just a little bit less than two. And in fact, from here, we can expect the answer to be a little bit less than 16. Because when we have something to the fourth power, that's an equacy situation. So if the input is less, the output should also be less. Well, from here, we need a function because without a function, we cannot do calculus. So let's just put this down right here. And I will consider my function. And because we have something to the fourth power, let's consider the function x to the fourth power, of course. OK, now, as I mentioned earlier, from 2 to 1.998, there's a small change. And because that's the input, we will have a small change in the x value. And that's the delta x. Let me just write that down for you guys. I will write this down first, from. And you should always put down the things that you know. So from, and this is the x value, from the x value to, to the x value that you are trying to figure out, namely 1.998 in our situation. What you do is delta x, and this stands for the actual change in the x value. You always do what you want minus what you know. So you put down 1.998 minus what you know, which is 2. And of course, you can figure this out. Delta x is just negative 0 0.002. And now here's the deal. This right here is the change in the x value. The output is the y. If I can figure out the change in the y value, then I will be able to figure this out. Because we know this y value is 16. If I can figure out the change in the y value, I can figure this out. And this is minus because from here to here, you pretty much subtract. And hopefully, we can also figure out the change in the y value. Then we can just from this and then subtract some number, we can get that. That's the strategy. Delta is the actual change. And if you want to figure out delta y, that's actually really hard to work, it, work with. Right? That's actually really hard to find out because it's hard to find out the exact change. But it's okay because I'll just put down a note. Delta y, this is approximated to dy. And remember, once again, the delta, this right here means the exact change whenever you use the triangle delta notation. And then when you have the dy ever, this right here is the approximated change. approximate the change uh, of the y value. And of course, when you use the d, d stands for derivative by using derivative. Well, this right here, the exact change, I don't know because I'm not trying to figure out the exact value for that. Otherwise, if I want to do that, I will have to really multiply the L. But I can figure out dy by using derivative. And now let's take a look right here. To figure out dy, namely just the differential, 
you go ahead, differentiate this, which is 4x to the third power, and then you multiply by dx. That is the differential. And once again, delta y is approximated to dy. They are pretty close to each other. I will also write this down right here. If delta x is small, if the x values are pretty close to each other, then the change in the y values, they wouldn't be that way off. And this right here, I think it is pretty small. And now from here, this is what we do. I just have to figure out what should I do with the dx and what should I pick for the x value. So what we are going to do first is that dx, you can always take that to be the same as delta x because uh, that's just the change in the x values. And that's an independent variable. You can just always take dx to be delta x, and you can just figure that out to be negative 0 0.002. Same thing over there. The goal is to take to figure out dy. And x, be sure you use the x value that you know, which is x is equal to 2. Right? Because you are going from 2 to some unknown uh, point <laughs> over there. Anyway, from here, dy is equal to 4 times x is 2 to the third power times dx, which will take it to be delta x. And once again, this and that, you can just always take them to be the same. Because y is a function of x, so take them to be the same. That's an independent variable. And you multiply by negative 0 0.002. And you can work this out. This right here is equal to 8. 8 times that is 32. And then you multiply by negative 0 0.002 and you multiply this out, you get dy, which is negative 0 0.064. And from here, we can say that delta y, the exact change in the y value, is approximately the same as the differential. So finally, what we are saying is that to figure this out, let me just write this down, 1.998 to the fourth power. This is approximately the same as here. We start with what we know, namely 16, right? And this right here was two to the fourth power. And then we add it with the dy, that's all. So this is the known y value. And then you add the dy. That's pretty much the idea. And the dy is a negative number. So in fact, we are subtracting 0 0.04 like this. So we can just work this out now. This is 16 minus 0 0.064. And you can work this out. This is 15.936, right? So this is how we do it. Starting from what you know and plus the difference. And that's what you have. And that is the answer to that. That's it.